Don't miss out on Cromlock's latest big demon model. Spiking bits. What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Rob Bear with you again today. Taking a look at this uh, ginormous new demon model from Cromlock. This is, I think they call it Phantom. It's spelled all weird with apostrophes in, in true demon form, uh, format, I suppose. It's the Stegen, Stegen War Demon of Fate. Obviously, it's, you know, basically supposed to be Fate Weaver. But of course, it's a little bit small for Fate Weaver these days, as we saw the new multi-part plastic kit come out. But don't, you know, don't get it twisted. This may, still makes a great demon prince, if, if anything. I mean, the GW demon princes, I think we can all agree, eh, a little, a little dated, a little dated. I'd love to see a little bit more, um, dynamic poses and such from those models and I tell you what like this thing's this thing's pretty neat it's got all sorts of the the demony goodness we've come to expect two different heads of course because you know it was supposed to be fate weaver and it comes with a base so you gotta you gotta say something for that right there so here it is basically all laid out for you it's got these two fantastic wings and let me tell you what these are very di dynamic i like how the little pinion action kind of goes up and then out kind of spreads out you can lock them in right here you know you can set them like this if you want or you can have them spread like fully in flight whatever you want to do you've got options because it's your your awesome ball and socket kind of format right there now this is the high quality resin that we've come to expect from chrome like you can tell that's a really good fill right there lots of good detail there's little uh uh, little indentations and things in here and then of course rips and tears in the wing itself from the sculpting that is there because it is a demon you know he's probably like at least a uh, hundred to two hundred years old let's just say he doesn't have a microwave sitting back at home and then this right here is the body itself and you can kind of tell like it's got a lot of detail in there like you can see all the knurling and things and all the cuts that you can paint up and have glistening or do it as like a gold or something like that. I really like all this detail. And then of course, terminates up here with uh, two different options for arms and one option right here. And then here's kind of what you can do. You've got these two right here. If you want to go that route, you can go that one or you can, let's see, where's the thumb on this one? Oh, that's, so that goes over there as well. So you can have the little orb thing and then you have the staff holder and then you have the little sword kind of thing right there. And then here's the tail, which kind of slots in very, it's very neat how this slots in. It's actually pretty good right there. Like just kind of slots in. You might have to use a little bit of plastic putty to fill it in. Vallejo plastic putty is really good for that right there. But I mean, the detail on it's fantastic and it curls right around. So this isn't something that could be part of the miniature and still work on it as far as casting goes. So I really like the design of that, just kind of looking at it. And then as far as the heads, we flip this right open and we've got the nice big staff let's see this goes where does it go oh it goes in the hand that's right okay so that makes more sense i was like well you can't slot two things into one right there so this goes right into the hand and this one goes into the top it looks like he's holding it at the very very top of the staff and then there's a little bit more of a shaft right there. So as far as detail goes on this, it looks great. Lots of uh, cool little demon kind of twists and turns and a little kind of orb type thing right there that you could definitely paint up to have glowing. And then the two heads that you have the options for, your typical kind of hooded bird head or your notched kind of demon horn head with multiple eyes right there. I really think these are cool. These, these are very, very kind of uh, demon-y but both have very specific looks that I think would really kind of emulate what you're, look, what you're going for there. And then of course you can, you know, this is about the 54 millimeter Games Workshop demon print size. So you can use different parts from the plastic existing kits out there as well. Even the head right there, uh, this spot right here would definitely fit a bunch of different heads. So if you're looking for an existing kit that's affordable, this is 30, uh, 34.99 euro. So depending on which way the wind's blowing, going across the ocean and conversion rate, while well, it's about the same, give or take there. Um, you know, dollars to dollars to euros. I'm sure pounds. You get a little bit more off the top right there, but it is cheaper than a Demon Prince from Games Workshop for sure. And you can definitely mix mix and match those parts in. The only, like I said, the only thing that's that's optionable is these two heads right here. And the staff itself, it looks to be about. I would say once you put it together, it's about six inches from the bottom of the base 
all the way up. So that definitely gives you an idea of scale right there for your projects out there. So it, it might not work for Fate Weaver just because they've they've upgraded the size and the girth perhaps of Fate Weaver with the, the newest plastic kit from Games Workshop. But you could definitely use this for any of your demon demony prints needs out there and it would go very well conversion wise with the existing plastic kit so i think it's a great value from chrome like chrome has got amazing stuff you can check them out on bits of war that's b-i-t-s of war and they also have a kind of like a, a veterans kind of uh, incentive program like the more stuff you buy over on the site the more uh, credits you get and you can save them up and use them and once you hit a certain level it all unlocks different things and you can read up on it it's over on the site it's a uh, the very first thing that pops up uh, these days on their site right there that's how I know about it. I went to want to check out what this was it just showed up I don't know what it is <laughs> like oh let me check this out hey cool a demon I like demons so, but I really like this design, and I think it's uh, it's very cool forward-thinking um, new miniature from Cromlock, and I can't wait to see what they come out with next. Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. TheLongWord.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.